viewers welcome to another interesting and fascinating man's video in this video we are going to look at a simple exponential expression so let's go simplify it so we have to simplify 2 upon 3 raised to the power of 2 upon 3 this problem is so innocuous but it's actually an entrance examination of harvard university in the united states the first approach is to use the fractional law of exponents. So we have 2 upon 3 raised to the exponent of uh, 2 upon 3. And now we know that the fractional law of exponent that if we have a to the power of uh, m over n, so we can actually write this to be the nth root of a raised to the m or the nth root of a, or raised to the power of m. So if we apply this fractional rule of exponents, we shall simplify the context of this problem. So that's going to give us, OK, we are going to take uh, the cube root. Then we are going to take uh, the base, which is uh, 2 upon 3. Then we are going to what? Square it. Now, the next thing we shall do is to try and use the division rule of exponents. So what this implies is this. We are then going to take the cube root of 2 whole square, then the cube root of 3 whole squared. Then if I decide to write the radical in exponent form, I can actually say this is 2 to the 1 third all square divided by 3 to the 1 third all squared. So what we have done here is the fact that if I have the square root of a, I can write it as a to the power of half. Similarly, if I have the cube root of a, I can write it as a to the power of one third. So then I move on. A very interesting aptitude problem. So if I use the power rule of exponent here, I'm then going to be having, OK, if a power is raised to another power or an exponent is raised to another exponent, we multiply the exponent. So if I multiply 1 upon 3 by 2, I will be having 2 upon 3. So I can then write 2 to the power of a to third divided by three to the power of two third. So at this level, I'm then going to rationalize these uh, radicals we have here. To do this, I need to do something very creative and logical. Now, I will say, suppose there exists a number x which belongs to the set of uh, real numbers. I can then say 3 to the power of 2 third multiplied by x equal to 3. Now, in the world of radicals, if we have a radical or a radical in an exponent, we rationalize it. So 3 upon 2, OK, 3 to the power of 2 upon 3 it's actually a radical. So to rationalize it, I need to actually get something by thinking out of the bus, because I cannot use this to rationalize that uh, expression. So I can only use x, because by multiplying 3 to the power of 2 third by x, I'll get 3. So our rationalization factor is going to be s equal to 3 to the power of 1 divided by 3 to the power of 2 third. So if I then use the division rule of exponents, did the same thing as 3 to the power of 1 minus 2 third. And that's going to be 3 to the power of 1 third. So folks, to then rationalize this radical, I can then say, OK, this implies that 2 upon, no, 2 raised to the power of 2 upon 3 upon 3 to the power of 2 upon 3 
I can rationalize it with 3 to the power of 1 third. So that means that I have to multiply by 3 to the power of 1 third. Then I have to multiply by 3 to the power of 1 third. This is quite interesting. So, if you look at the numerator, we have radicals then, the denominator, taking care of it. So, 3 to the power of 2 third multiplied 3 to the power of 1 third, that's going to give us 3 to the power of 2 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3. 2 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3, that's 1. So, and that is something as 3 to the power of 1, which is 3. So, I'm going to be having 2 to the power of 2 third multiply 3 to the power of 1 third divided by 3. So you can see that we've rationalized this uh, radical expression. Then the next thing is to tidy things up, clean up the numerator. I can split 2 raised to the power of 2 thirds to be 2 square to the power of 1 third. Multiply 3 to the power of 1 third, or divided by 3. Now, 2 square is 4. So I can write this to be 4 to the power of 1 third, multiply 3 to the power of 1 third, divided by 3. So at the end of the day, 4 to the power of 1 third, multiply 3 to the power of 1 third, because is cube root of 4 and 3 multiplying each other, we can write them together as a single radical. So I will then say the cube root. Then 4 multiplied 3, that's 12, upon a 3. So I can decide to also write this in exponent form to be 12 to the power of 1 third upon 3. So this is the answer to this problem. So if you are curious, if you actually plug you know, the cube root of 12 divided by 3 in the calculator, it will give you the same answer if you were to raise 2 upon 3 to the power of 2 upon 3. So guys, we've come to the end of another interesting tutorial. Please ensure you give this video a like and share it with your learning friends and colleagues. Don't forget to put your comments and follow for more. See you next time. God bless you.